We ran a best small caps fund screen on the Bloomberg terminal and one of the best performing and the biggest is the Royce Opportunity Fund. The $2 billion fund has a one year return of 30%. Buzz Zeno runs the portfolio. His track record as a fund manager goes back to 1976 and he says he uses a traditional value approach to picking stocks but also stresses that it's quote the whole portfolio performance that matters and not just a few home runs and Mr. Zeno joins me here on set. Welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you so much for coming on, sir. Well, thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, you uh, let's see, when you were talking about the funds, and, and one of the things that struck me is a, a lot of people do go for the home run. It's, it's all or nothing. How do you discourage that? A lot of people get into the market and they, they see that it's, it's, it's like a lottery. If I don't win, I've lost. Or if I don't win large, I've lost. Well, that can happen if you concentrate. Um, in point of fact, um, you try to analyze uh, stocks and you can only know so much about the future. So you take certain characteristics and you spread it around a number of names and most of those companies that have these characteristics will provide you a good return. Few will be disasters, a few will be very big uh, winners. And um, and you really not don't know that uh, when you buy the first hundred shares. What are those characteristics you're talking about? Okay, we look at um, first the uh, valuation metrics. One is the price to book value ratio. Uh, price to sales ratio. Um, one, because it gives you an asset base uh, from which you start, and stock should be cheap on that basis. And second, uh, you have the leverage on a low price to sales ratio that if things improve, the earnings will improve and you'll have a bigger return on the overall investment. Have you found out through your career that these guidelines? have held you in good stead regardless of what the economy looks like and regardless of which direction the market's going? Well, uh, you can never avoid the direction of the market when the market is weak, your stocks go down with all of those. It's um, a very important thing to recognize, especially in, stall, in small stocks, that something called performance has to be moderated by the fact that um, you use arbitrary uh, dates for measurement, uh, December 31st, June 30th, um, and uh, a lot of things could happen in a very short period of time. What really is the real performance small stocks is what you physically buy the security at and what you ultimately sell it for. It's the spread um, that makes you uh, the most money. And, and in point of fact, you know, when the markets are the weakest, people say, oh, you're losing a lot of money. And my, my reaction is, actually, we're making money because if you're valuing these properly and you have a confidence mm -hmm. in the ultimate valuation of the company, as the stock goes down, the spread between the buy point and the sell point widens, so you're making money. Why have small cap stocks consistently outperformed large caps over the past 10 years? Um, because it's easier for those uh, smaller companies to rise in value. There's such a one a wide um, spectrum of uh, small companies. We've got 8,000, 9,000 small companies out there to choose from, as opposed to 400 in the S&P industrial, et cetera. Um, so within that universe, you're going to find things that are doing uh, better than the, the markets. They have their own characteristics, and um, among those, there's going to be the winners. How were the small caps able to navigate this economic storm that we've been in? Well, you know, interestingly enough, we think of small co uh, companies as somehow um, less well managed. In point of fact, they're not. Uh, they have very good management. Uh, they went into this period of time with uh, good balance sheets in many cases, um, and management's uh, had tools, new tools, uh, uh, to work with, uh, and they reacted very quickly. So they s sustained themselves in very difficult times. Is one of the drawbacks, though, of small caps that they roll over money, they put the money back into the company, whereas the large cap Perhaps they're making money, but they may be giving that back as dividends. Well, it varies, of course. The technology companies, of course, always take their free cash flow and put it into new products and R&D and expansion, and that eats up a lot of their cash. Not necessarily with all small companies. Uh, it will vary company by company. Do investors worry that this small cat ride may be nearing an end? Always the case. <laughs> But as long as we have the liquidity, as we do have now, um, massive amounts of money out there, um, there tends to be the, and, and a positive earnings momentum, as, as I think we're experiencing now, uh, there is that tendency for small stocks to continue to, to rise. Well, as the economy strengthens, interest rates are inevitably going to rise. Is that going to hurt small caps because they tend to borrow more? 
Well, um, it'll create volatility, as has always been the case. And in point of fact, there's a, the other side of QE2. You know, when um, um, Bernanke starts to tighten, for whatever reasons, probably because the economy is strong, um, the market will take pause, and uh, the small people will worry about the earnings progress uh, terminating, and uh, that'll affect the small stocks more so than the large stocks. You have a couple of picks. Let's go through them. Material sciences, supplies, manufacturing products for the auto industry. Right, auto, housing, um, and appliances, coated steel, uh, no debt on the balance sheet, uh, almost half the price of the stock is in cash. Uh, management's uh, doing things that uh, are uh, uh, strengthening the company, and uh, they sell at a very low multiple to earnings currently. You like furniture brands as well. One of its main brands, Thomasville, a Correct. very popular name. Right. Now, this management is managed well through a very, very difficult period of time, and uh, it sells at a very low multiple to revenue, so there's terrific operating leverage when sales uh, pick up, and uh, it tends to trend along with uh, housing sales. And Avia Networks, they help to build 4G networks, I guess, just right on the cusp of this 4G explosion right now. Right. They were spun out of uh, Harris Corp and uh, they had a period where their earnings uh, could have been better and there's a new management there about six months who are doing the kinds of things necessary to improve. Are they uh, going to the generate earnings. new revenue? Uh, they are beginning to get uh, increased orders at this point in time, and therefore, uh, as once again, the price sales ratio is very low. Right. So if indeed they show those earnings, you're going to have, a, I believe, a nice improvement in the, earn in the price of the stock. Buzz Zeno, the manager of the Royce Opportunity Fund, joining us here on set. Mr. Zeno, thanks. Pleasure to meet you. Thank Good you, sir. Good to see you. Thank